everybody welcome back to my channel thank you all for joining me um sorry i've failed already um at my 100 day thing but last week was just awful um i was just i just had load, loads to do it's kirk's birthday um i had to go to the opticians for the first time um i had to have a tooth out i had an emergency appointment at the dentist and just life and being an adult and oh my god uh, there was some fun stuff as well we had uh, we went out for dinner with my auntie and uncle one evening and uh, we had my brothers and their partners over for a bit of a not a party but a bit of a part a six people party um over the weekend and just you know couldn't talk for a bit i think kirk enjoyed that my face didn't swell up too much. I had to have a, a broke, I don't know, I'm screaming at you. I broke my wisdom tooth um, because it was a wisdom tooth and it was causing me pain. They removed it. They're going to re remove my other top wisdom tooth um, in the future. So it's all lacking the same thing. Um, I have a Mickey Mouse jump on and my auntie has the same one. And not this Sunday, last Sunday, we were going to get, well, we went to breakfast with Kerry and Mark, who are my auntie and uncle that I go on about all the time. Um, and they picked us up and they pulled down the drive and I could see Kerry's wearing this jumper. And I thought, you know, if it was just like a, a plain jumper, wouldn't have minded. I personally wouldn't have minded anyway, but Kirk said we looked like we were in a bit of a cool because we were like such a bright jumper. Funny story. So I thought I'd... You can hear dogs pitter-pattering around. Um, you're in the kitchen because... As I've explained before, I can no longer sit on the floor to do these videos. So to having something that's like high enough where I can show you things, I have to stand up. I look like a potato today. Um, so I've got a box, well, a box and a bucket of things that I've made recently that I don't think I've shown you. If I have already shown you, I apologise. I'm just going to sort of grab at things and show you as I get to them so they're in no particular order and I'll try my best to remember the what's and the why's. Um, firstly, I feel like I was going to say something and I've forgotten already. Um, I finished my scarf, I think, I don't think I've shown it to you since I put the edging on. It's so cosy, I don't love the way it looks. I think if it was all in one colour I'd be over the moon but I think Having these like random pale grey squares is not doing it for me. But I wore it to our fair. My niece was very taken with it. She thought it was great. Um, yeah, so it's very cosy. And in fact, I'm going to leave it downstairs and wear it. Perhaps not today, but tonight when I go on a dog walk. So yeah, that was all. Mariner, super chunky yarn. I used two balls. Two light grey, two dark grey. Had plenty left over. Made funky tassels. It's fine. It's fine. Um, sorry, I feel like I'm a bit out of breath. I'm a little bit snotty. Um, and um, <laughs> and I've just ran upstairs and I'm not fit at all. Then this, I don't know if I've already shown you this. I made this over the summer. Um you know, baby blanket size, I suppose. I don't have anyone to give it to. I just wanted to use pretty colours. Um, but it's, I think there's a real pattern called like the 50-50 square or something. But basically, if you can see the top and the bottom are the granny stitch, and then the sides are just double crochet. Um, I haven't used a pattern. I was inspired by whatever that square is called. But I think on that one, it sort of just stripes so, and it does look a lot prettier um, but I'm pleased with this I think it's cute I love the colours I think it's all mariner yarn um, I know the purple definitely is one of the baby ones I think the blue might be um, if you look on the baby DK there's sometimes just slightly different yarns on the mariner website uh, yeah not done any tassels or pom-poms because I don't trust my tassel or pump making skills to be baby proof. Um, and I haven't edged it just because I didn't think it needed it. I'm quite pleased with that. I think it looks cute. 
and I love the colours, very Easter. So when I finally get round to selling things that I've made, that can go on there. Um, I'm just trying to make things I enjoy making without having a reason, which we all know reflects a reason to make something. This is um, a lap blanket for Kirk's granddad. It originally was going to be a Sean. Sorry, Hugo. Oh, I've just made him jump. Um, it was originally going to be a Sean. I used three off. I think it was three lollies uh, mistake cakes someone give me the words um, and then I've ed edged it and joined it in just a navy which was like the PK Petek PK I don't know off lollies as well um, it's not very soft yarn it'll do I wouldn't have it as baby blankets it's not soft but I thought that would do for just covering Kirk's granddad's legs when he's sitting and watching telly. He has a blanket and what do you buy a man that has everything that doesn't have any particular hobbies or anything. Every year for Christmas we get him like a belt or a pair of slippers so I made him a blanket. I don't know if he wants one but he can have one. Uh, I think I did one, two, three, four, five, five rounds in the granny squares, joined them all together and that's that. Yeah, it was going to be a shawl and I even made the little triangles to do like the triangulation. What? Um, and just wanted to just make a blanket because it's easier. So there's that. I hope I'm showing you these well enough. Um, what's next? I'll show you the last big thing that I've made and then I'll move on to the little bits. I made this last week when I didn't feel very well. Um, Basically, got three different strands of yarn, held them together, used a 10mm hook, double crocheted in the back loop only to make ridges. Um, and gradually, I've, like I've, I've not changed all three colours at the same time, I've done it gradually. So it's sort of ombreish, but not really, because I've not, like, here it goes from green to orange, so it's not it's not going to fade nicely. But I love the colour combinations. This reminds me of superheroes. This is all my neons. Just pretty, pretty. Um, gone into like mermaid colours. And then Kirk says this reminds me of Christmas. And whoops, gone into pinks. Then just made using the different combinations in the scarf made loads of really long chunky tassels tassels might need trimming actually but made made a scarf it's loud and it's vibrant but you know if you've just got like a black or a gray or whatever color coat it like spices up your winter wardrobe a bit don't i feel like i'm trying to sell it spices up your winter wardrobe so there's that then a few weeks ago, went a bit mad with the cotton and made, oh, I feel like I should have organised this. Went a bit mad with the cotton and again, holding strands together for a lot of it, made like washcloths and eye makeup removers. I feel like I need an assistant to get these things ready for me or do, you know, just prepare ahead of time. Um, I won't spend too much time doing this because it's boring to watch me do it oh I made a little pink pumpkin because I originally did make a regular orange and green pumpkin and everyone I posted it to Instagram and everyone said how cute it was and I agreed it was cute and someone said I should have made a pink pumpkin I can't remember who it was oh I also just made green and orange thought Halloween colors um Someone said to me, you should make a pink pumpkin. I was like, oh, obviously I should have done that. Why didn't I think of doing that? So, I made a pink pumpkin. I'm not going to look at you while I'm talking about this, but it's not because I'm embarrassed. Made a pink pumpkin, thought, oh, it doesn't look great. Mouth's a bit wonky and the thing on top's not looking right. Kirk said it looked like a part of the male anatomy and it's really put me off, so. 
that's that. Lots and lots of little bits of this in that I'm not showing you, which I will show you, I promise, um, is, I've just said, haven't I, washcloths and what's it's. Who has, oh, an amazing eye. I can show you the eye. Made an eye, which was really easy. Just did black in, two rounds, two rounds of black, a half double crochet in green, or whatever eye colour you want it to be, and then the white, and then just sort of, the back's not amazing. Did red veins. I'm nearly there. Made a random green one as well. That doesn't match anything. I was going to do all the colours of the rainbow, I think. But I have issues with committing to these things. So, I'm about there. Should have done this ahead of time, but did I? No. So, first I made seven eye makeup remover pads. They're quite big. I don't know why I did that. They're quite big um, compared to like regular cotton wool, but not massive. Um, a set of seven. Some are edged in the blue, purple variegated, and some are edged in just grey. I think they look cute together. And I thought I could gift or sell a little set of those. I've done seven because like one for every day of the week, but... I feel like I'd use more than that, but then you can buy more sets, I suppose, or I don't know. I don't know. I haven't got a grand plan. Then I've used um, this yarn. The cream was in a mystery box from Lolly's. It's Armoni cotton. And the grey and the multicoloured is like a lot of what I'm about to show you. It's from a shop, which I believe is a Scandinavian shop. I think and I think it's I've not got a ball band or anything I think it translate to like the sisters green or the green sisters I mentioned it before it's a lot like that flying tiger shop that is in a lot of shopping centers um very Ikea-esque but not really furniture it's more crafts and homeware and cooking and trinkets things like that um that's where that yarn's from I'll show you a ball band next time this is Rico Creative Cotton, uh, which is what the pumpkins were made out of, and my naughty bits, head man. Um, and then the coloured is uh, sugar and cream in, I don't know what colour, purple, blue, pink and yellow with a bit of white, and it smells of lavender, which I'm not, I didn't know when I, I ordered it off Amazon. So this is another little set of seven. So they're quite cute. I think my tension's too tight on a lot of them because they're curling up, but never mind. Love the colours. Again, sort of matches the baby blanket, very Easter. Then I have made a set that are black in the middle with a, color, a different coloured edge. So I've done the colours of the rainbow but they're not in rainbow order, of course, because my assistant didn't help me with this. I look like I'm losing the plot, don't I? Rainbow order. Um, I thought this would be good for like removing mascara or whatever, because you know, it's not gonna stain the white cotton if there's no white cotton to stain. Um, <laughs> then I did the opposite way around. So the rainbow colored middle, with black on the edge, just because I thought these look like uh, licorice all sorts. Is it licorice all sorts? I don't know. Then I started making little sets. So this is holding together three strands of this yarn. Um, I had grey, light blue, a teal, like a bottle green, a burgundyish red white or cream i think it was cream and the variegated mermaid colors um i think this one was gray teal and red um i made a little washcloth and for a bit smaller 
eye makeup removers um, but these are quite thick because it's it's really 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 thin yarn cotton whatever um but it's all quite squishy um so it do good for scrubbing so i made a little set out of those and and this was a candy floss bucket that i washed out genius i'm a genius <laughs> then i used this one and it's dead obvious that i ran out of green so it was green light blue and teal ran out of green so started doing white sort of sea foamish um and so did luckily i made these two first just did two and then i made these two after so it sort of worked out really well little eye scrubbies again this all the washcloths that i've made all four are all different sizes and this one hasn't got the ridges on but it'd be nice for your body I think I've lost the plot. Then I made this one, which is red, green, and white, so festive Christmas theme. Four little eye scrubbies again, dead squishy, but quite sturdy. And there is holes in this, but it'd get your makeup off. And then the last one was blue, grey, and then the variegated. So it just looks like the variegated. Uh, washcloth and four eye scrubbies that's what I've made then what I am making is a mess um doing another of the chunky scarves but a bit slimmer because that one's like a big blanket so I thought this should be slimmer so it could be more child friendly or just not as huge so started with the neon colours, which are they're showing up really orangey on camera, but yellow, pink and orange neon. Oh, and I did the just that fringing at the end. Then went into a purple and then pinks, purple and blue. Then the mermaidy colours again, blue and greeny blues. Then went into yellow. This is just like reminding me of tie-dye uh, that's green like a fluorescent orangey coral and a yellow and then started going into red and then I've just started going into red pink and the coral and I think this might be my finished colour not sure but it's still it's still long enough for me I suppose I do like a big scarf got bored of that so started something else um, I have three each. I did talk about this on my Instagram. I have three each of these. So three of these, which were from Pound La uh, Pound World. Obviously, it's not open anymore. But that's um, Hobby Time Sparkle. Two for the price of three. 50 grams of purple yarn with a hair on it. Um, purple yarn with a purple metallic thing then these are from poundland uh, this is lilac with like a pinky purple shimmer again it's 50 gram three for two and then this one's so pretty it's peach with like a it's showing up like greeny bluish but it's like iridescent -y, almost not there and this is like a peachy color um, and i'm holding those together i'm doing this one so to me this one's widthways doing this one lengthways um yeah so it's not the softest scarf in the world because it's got the little metallics in but it doesn't irritate your skin or anything i think that's all i'm making and then i have bought from a lovely lady on uh, instagram who i follow called wouldn't it be nice um she has a shop making wooden painted items um and she was sort of getting rid of some stock that she hadn't done anything with so i bought two of these it's hard to show you so i'm just going to show you one but it's a mdf rainbow um so obviously you paint it and then it's like a baby jigsaw slash ornament thing um so I have two of these, they're exactly the same. I haven't done anything to them yet because I haven't got 
any paint and sealer and what have you. Um, but I found some in Wilco for a five and you can get, so I think what you have to do is seal it, possibly sand it down, possibly not, it depends on the sealer. Um, this is all what I've like gathered from guessing at stuff on Pinterest. Um, seal it, prime it, so paint it white, and then paint it whatever colour you want. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna make the other one, it's not broken, um, for Grace for Christmas. But I think I'm gonna just gonna do it like in pink ombre, um, and crochet a toy, um, and that's all I've got to show you. Sorry, it's a bit of waffle. I feel like I've shouted at you, but I'm a bit out of sorts with all this. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go because Kirk will be picking me up shortly to go to the post office. I've got some trousers I ordered to return online. They they like um like. Not jersey like stretchy trousers that are sort of a cross between a trouser and a legging. And I ordered some black ones. Uh, this is from Pink Clove. Um, ordered some black ones, really love them. Ordered some that look like grey checked ones, but they're not. It's not a very it's just obviously not a very good picture online. They're only in the sale, but they're white with black checks and Kirk told me I look like a chef in them, so I'm sending them back. So he will just forever call them my chef trousers. So they're going back and he's got to return something. Um, he ordered a top from somewhere on Facebook. Like a, it must be some sort of selling site. And they just sent him the wrong thing altogether. So he's having that swapped. <laughs> so lots of returns. Hopefully I'm going to get to Wilco and get some paint. But I don't know if that shall be today. Um... Crochet plans is to carry on with this. Um, I'm going to start thinking about what... My hair is just a mess. Uh, what toy I want to crochet for Grace for Christmas. Um, I don't think it's going to be a Christmas themed one. Um, I've already made her a rabbit. So it's... I'm thinking maybe a monster. Um, I don't want anything with eyes in though. So I might have to fashion some sort of crocheted sewn on eye. But we'll see. Um, yeah, finish this one, finish this one, crochet toy, got some more things upstairs that I could do with finishing as well, and maybe think about at least putting items up for sale, whether anybody wants them is up to them, but if I don't try, I'll never know, so we shall see. Um, I'm going to go, and I will be back sooner than I was last time, does that make sense? Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you very soon. I hope you will. And if you have any suggestions on selling things, fuss free is what I want, then please give me your ideas below. I think I know what I'm going to do, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.